What's going on guys? Welcome to our brand new on channel. In today's video, we're talking about the Galaxy Note 8. Now, I just want to explain why I'm talking about this phone so much. It's because I think Samsung and also the Galaxy phones are going to influence the way other companies manufacture their phones. Now, with this Galaxy Note 8, a lot of people are speculating about the features and the hardware. So, I want to talk more about that because these are the kind of things that we know about the phone so far. As far as the sensor on the back of the phone with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, I would think it would be really smart for Samsung to put the sensor in the screen on the front of the phone. But people have been commenting on the videos also when I'm talking about the Galaxy Note 8 saying that they think Samsung might put the sensor on the back of the phone. It is possible because this has a lot to do with manufacturing and if Samsung has an issue manufacturing that sensor on the front of the phone, it could be on the back of the phone. We just don't know yet. As far as the competition out there when Samsung's competing with Apple, if Samsung can add a sensor to the front of the phone and Apple is able to, it's because Apple has been working on this for a while. When Apple's competing with Samsung, they realize they have to create a better phone, manufacture a much better iPhone compared to even the Galaxy. S8 and S8 Plus, but if they have a manufacturing issue, you can't blame them that much because they're really trying to make a better phone compared to the Galaxy Note 7. Now you have to remember, the Galaxy Note 7 was an incredibly popular phone. People didn't even want to return that phone, but Samsung had to improve it with all the battery issues and people had a lot of problems with that phone because it had to be recalled. I have to say, I think they're doing their best just to try to innovate the phone enough where it's different than the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus and it's a better version than even the Galaxy Note 7. So that is a tough task for Samsung, but I think they can accomplish it. Is it going to be a guarantee again with the sensor and the screen? Not a guarantee. And that's also because there could be dual lenses on the back of the phone and this is another hardware issue where people were complaining with the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus where you have a lens on the back of the phone but then also you have the sensor right next to the lens and that was confusing to people obviously because they're trying to use a sensor and the lens is right there also. So this is a situation for companies like Samsung and Apple but really for Samsung because I'm interested in that Galaxy Note 8. You have the sensor on the back of the phone if you choose to manufacture the phone that way and then also dual lenses I don't think that's a good idea and I also think some people are talking about the fact that maybe Samsung shouldn't announce the phone so quickly and should work that out first. I agree with that because if Samsung announces this phone and you have dual lenses on the back of the phone and I was going to be talking about just dual lenses and the cameras and everything and I am going to talk about it in this video but originally the video I had planned for today was just to talk about that. We have to talk about those dual lenses because the reason why companies are going to start implementing dual lenses and Samsung and Apple wouldn't be the first companies is because people are using their phones for photography more than ever. You can just look at the phone itself. The software upgrades have been made for the iPhone already and even the Galaxy phones because you're getting better pictures and also better picture processing for the phone. Now if you're talking about the lenses, the lenses are going to allow you to take maybe like a panoramic shot so you can get that wide angle lens. That's what the additional lens is for. So when you have these kind of capabilities, you also have to think about where is the hardware going? And it has to go somewhere. Lenses on the back of the phone, lenses on the front of the phone. There's going to be a lot of lenses on these phones if these companies can implement them in a way where they don't annoy the person that's using the phone. Now from the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, Plus, Samsung has to learn from that because if the lenses are right next to the sensor again, a lot of people complain about that. And when you have people complaining about a feature or even hardware with the phone, you have to change that. So the idea that the lenses could be on the back of the phone and then also the sensor, I don't think is a good idea, even for Apple or Samsung. Now, as far as Apple, if they do implement that sensor on the front of the phone, I don't think that's gonna make the iPhone 8 better than the Galaxy Note 8. And the reason why is because I really think that the iPhone 8 is going to be better than even iOS. That's what I was also saying in the previous video. But as far as Samsung, and in fact that you have Android and you got the Galaxy Note 8, I think it's going to be an awesome phone. I think a lot of people that are fans of the Galaxy Note 7, how to return the phone again. You know, you have people out there that really want a Galaxy Note phone. And if we're talking about the Galaxy Note 8 compared to the Samsung Galaxy S8, and S8 Plus, we're talking about a better version of even those phones. Now, I would just say this also, a lot of what I'm hearing about the Galaxy Note 8 includes like six gigabytes of RAM. It is possible. You're talking about a better Snapdragon processor. You know, the better processing speed is something that we're going to expect because they have to upgrade that phone. But if you require six gigabytes of RAM, then go ahead and add that kind of RAM to the phone. There's no issue with that because you're getting better memory for the phone. It's going to be a very impressive phone. And that's again why I'm saying that it is the phone of the year. Now, as far as the stylus, you're talking 
talking about that S Pen, a lot of people are saying that's going to be an upgrade from the previous version of that pen. So yes, these are possibilities because Samsung, again, has to continue to innovate and they already have flagship phones. I mean, I consider the Galaxy Note 8 like a flagship phone because it's that impressive. But we're comparing it to the other phones out there like the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Those are really flagship phones too because look how many people purchased those phones from Samsung. So in comparison though, Samsung has to improve the Galaxy Note 8 that much more so it differentiates from those phones because otherwise you're just getting another Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and then what is that worth because you're comparing it to two phones you have already out there that are very similar. You have to make sure that the phone looks somewhat different and what I mean by that is a real phablet design. This is something I've talked about before also. So as far as the Galaxy Note 8, a very impressive phone. I think it's going to be manufactured from Samsung. I also think that the phone is going to be much better than Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. And as far as some of the things going on with the phone, you know, a lot of people are getting annoyed already because they're hearing these things about Samsung and all they expect from that company is to manufacture the perfect phone and sometimes it doesn't work that way with manufacturing phones. Actually a lot of times it doesn't because look at Apple, they had to delay the manufacturing of their phones just to get hardware from the manufacturers that they work with. So Samsung manufactures everything for their phone. You look at a company like Apple, they have to start looking at other companies and saying, hey, can you manufacture this part? And it could possibly be similar to another company like Samsung, but can you manufacture it for us so we can announce our phone? phones on time. And that just has a lot to do with the way Apple manufactures their phones. You know, if you have Apple who implements that sensor in the screen, that's not going to surprise me because one of the main features about an iPhone these days is to have like Apple Pay. And the fact that you have the sensor on the phone so you can unlock your phone, you know, you have to remember what happened with the Galaxy Note 7. For a company to announce a phone like that, that was so popular. And that was part of the issue. It was that popular where people didn't want to return the phone. Then you look at the iPhone 7 7 Plus. We know the iPhone 7 7 Plus looks outdated. For Apple to manufacture manufacture a better version of that phone is really not that complicated because you have phones out there already like the S8 and S8 Plus that's basically going to allow you to know where the industry is going right now because if you see a company leading the way and then you see Apple who has an outdated phone right now of course they're going to improve the manufacturer of their phone and they don't have a choice because with these companies it's continuous competition so as far as the comparisons between Samsung and Apple or even the improvements to the Galaxy Note 8 I think the 6 gigabytes of RAM is going to be impressive if they implement it with the Galaxy Note 8, a better S Pen, we're talking about a better screen, better processing, a better camera, possibly even dual lenses, which would be interesting for Samsung. Although they wouldn't be the first company, Samsung and Apple, to implement it, it's still an interesting feature because it allows people to take more photographs, variation of photographs with their smartphones. Then you're talking about the phone itself, the design. I think it should have a real phablet design. I'm actually expecting Samsung to do that. If they just create another version of the S8 Plus, I do not think that would be impressive, but I don't think Samsung's gonna do that. I think they're smarter than that. And as far as Apple and the way they compete with Samsung, I think Apple's going to manufacture a fantastic phone. No question about it. I actually think it's going to be more impressive than iOS, as I've been saying. And I also think it is very possible that that sensor for Apple is implemented in the front of the screen. That's not to say that Samsung doesn't do that either. But you have to wait to see what happens with Samsung. They have to manufacture the phone. You have to give them an opportunity. So before people just criticize Samsung, at least give them this opportunity to manufacture one one of the best phones of the year. I'm saying it's going to be the best phone of the year, but I would like to know what you guys think about all this. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about all these features for the Samsung Galaxy S8 or even the iPhone 8. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.